Hi, I'm Terry from Jetmac. I'm just going to make a, a quick video here. I'll try not to laugh because this guy holding the video is uh, pulling a lot of faces <laughs> out here. Okay, so I'm just going to make a quick video just to explain the different types of pumps that you can get because on the internet we all get a bit bamboozled about this does this, this is this pressure, this is this brand, etc, etc. So basically there's three main different types of pumps, generally speaking. You have a gearbox uh, reduction pump which is this one this is the gearbox here you have this one here which the pump is driven by uh, a tooth 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 belt with two pulleys which basically operates the same way as the gearbox and this system here which is a direct drive pump now when i say direct drive it just means that the pump directly slides onto the shaft so it always works at the same speed as the engine which is 3400 rpm Okay, I'm not going to try, I'm going to try and make you not very bored by this video, I'm going to try and keep it fairly lively, even though I'm pretty boring. <laughs> so, if you look here, because this is a big wheel, which is, it's a 62 tooth pulley, and this is a, a smaller tooth pulley, you have a reduction. So basically, when this shaft here is spinning at about 3400 RPM, this is only doing 1450, okay? So these pumps are definitely the more industrial because they only work at half the speed so they're more fit for a lot of work and uh, they'll be more suitable for everyday continuous hard hard work. So let's explain the difference and the advantages between the gearbox system and the belt drive system. So I'll show you what the inside of a gearbox basically is. So this part here is the bit that slides on slides on slides onto the engine like, that, like like so and this bit here is the pump and it sits in like that and it basically works the same way as the belt drive but it's just all encased inside an oil bath okay and it's the same two to well it's actually a 2.2 to 1 uh, reduction yeah so gearbox system is a good system everybody on the internet you'll see oh must have a reduction gearbox yes it's it's very very important <laughs> to have a reduction gearbox problem is with the reduction gearbox as you'll see is that once this is built and fitted and this key set on the shaft this key every time you pull in the trigger on your gun there's a certain amount of snatch on this key within the shaft so there's a certain amount there's a lot of wear there's also a lot of heat coming from this shaft passing through the whole pump and there's also a lot of vibration coming from the engine passing through the shaft through the whole pump okay the problem is two or three years down the line if you ever go to take that pump off the chances are it's probably welded itself onto the shaft with rust and stuff it would be impossible to get off but your biggest problem is is if this key that very rarely ever gets changed if it wears down and uh, inside that what will happen is it'll do a lot of damage to the shaft of the engine and basically by the time you would be replacing the shaft of an engine you'd be into the price of a new engine so the advantages of the belt system is this belt acts as suspension every time you pull the trigger in on the lance this is absorbing all the shock as well as that you're not getting any of the shocks or vibrations going to the pump because it's all being dispersed here at this point because there's no direct contact metal to metal here it's just connected with this uh, tooth belt and also the heat from the shaft is being totally i think the word the big word i'd like to use here is dis dissipated and don't ask me to spell that. <laughs> but Basically, the heat isn't being passed through the pump, so it's a lot less wear and tear. The pumps, I think, is having an easier time. And uh, the worst, the worst case scenario that you could ever have with this machine is the replacing of this belt, which you're talking 15, 20 quid. The problem is something, something goes wrong inside here with a bearing or something like that, or vice versa, something goes wrong in the engine. It's going to do a lot of damage. On this system here if for example the pump was to fail or the pump was to seize snap this here it'll just wrench the life 
out of this and it'll wreck the shaft or it'll wreck the whole gearbox so in my opinion the belt drive is the way to go so I'm going to start start the machine up here very quickly just to let you see it running let you know the belt on the finished product isn't going to be exposed like that there is this said uh, belt guard that sits neatly net, neatly over the whole thing like that protecting anybody from putting their fingers in or anything so that's basically just a short video to pretty much show you the new Honda machine the new belt drive uh, 21 litre Honda uh, you can have it with a variety of different pumps in each system. We'll do this one with AR and with interpump and the gearbox one there, well the most popular one that everybody uses is the gearbox interpump. Uh, if you want to take a look at our website www.jetmac.co.uk uh, you're free to do so or if you want to talk about anything give us a call on 077 344 383 19. Thank you, thanks for listening. Overnight.